channel. This is actually not a tutorial, but it is gonna be a tour of my desk. I've done one in the past. Um, I'm just gonna go show you guys pretty much the daily essentials that I keep at my desk, that I use daily, that will make your work much more efficient and you know quicker, just so that you won't have to be running back and forth to get things in the back. I do do it, but it's very uh, unlikely, only when it comes to design. So if you wanna stay tuned to see what I have on my desk, and pretty much everything needed for a set. Continue watching. You guys may know, but I do have the Valentino Beauty Pure table, and this table comes with a ventilator. Right here, I just have it prepped for a nail fix. This actually sucks up the dust, and if you guys have not tried a dust collector, I definitely recommend it. It is a ventilator, and um, it is amazing, guys. You don't necessarily have to get the Valentino Beauty Pure one, but it is amazing, so I definitely recommend that one. So it did, you know, you do need to change the filter as often as needed, but um, definitely recommend a filter, like a ventilator for sure and a dust collector. So my daily essentials or what I use, as you can see, is this is on my left corner. Please ignore my keys. Um, files. I have files and I use this one. Make sure to label everything, guys, to remove sharp edges because... Um, whenever you do file, these are pretty rough, so you got to be very careful not to cut your client. And I remove it, pretty much sharp, shaving it off. That's why it's used. And if you have this inside this box without a label, you might get fined. So trust me, guys, label everything. And pretty much I refill this, you know, as needed. Then I have my buffers out there. I have some implements that I use on a daily basis, like my tip cutter, my, these are usually to remove crystals, my scissors, my tweezers, extra cuticle pushers, etc. Whatever you think you need, you know, daily or whenever, you know, usually. Then I have some nail forms. I have some sanding bands. Remember, label everything. All my bits are in here. And then I have some finger cots. Finger cots are pretty much, actually there's nothing in there, but they're little gloves, the little finger ones. Then I have some stickers here. And let me just see. Gotta put this before I lose it. It's a control. Then I have my gelish LED lamp in here, my brush, my drill, and this is on my right side, side hand, hand side. On my desk, I have alcohol, which is swipe, cuticle oil, and hand sanitizer. And I always have a paper towel at hand. I usually have it in the bottom drawer, but I right now the roll is too big that it doesn't fit, so I'm letting it get smaller so I can put it in there. And on my right side, I have my foundation for gel, my top coat glue, my glitter top coat for gel, sorry, it's a mess. And same thing for glitter top coat, just so I can distinguish both of them. I do label them. Some, you know, for the um, antiseptic for when it comes to an accident. My pH bond by Jellish. My protein bond. My other protein bond by Dazzle U Nail Supply. My clear acrylic by Young Nails. My liquid, my top coat by Kara Sky for raw glitters and my other primers. Those are acid-based primers. Down here are some extra colors. My Vetro gels, because those are a little bit messy. My top coat, my matte top coat, my striper brush, my wipes, which I do label new wipes, my other top coats, and pretty much gels that I use on a daily basis. And I do have a matte top coat for glitter and for regular polish as well. Then on this one, I have to still clean it up a little bit, but it's pretty much more gels that I don't really use often and some glitter mixes that I use on a daily basis, which is like fairy dust, you know, glit you know, silver glitter, etc. On my bottom drawer, I have lotion, my blue dryer. This one should be filled with gloves, but I usually get them when I get my stuff, so it doesn't matter. My other spray of alcohol, my acetone, my set of brushes, my liquid, and my to be disinfected box. Whenever I finish a client, I don't have time to wash it, I pour it in here. And to be the last thing is my tips. 
And like I said, I usually put my paper towels right here, but they're kind of big right now, so I won't put so it. So this is a part of pretty much my daily essentials as well. I always have my gloves here, my um, clean nip clippers, a mask, and then all of these are clean implements that I sterilized as well. So I'll pretty much grab a towel and then I'll grab here with gloves and then if I need this and then I always grab one of these. So that's pretty much everything. I try to keep everything together. That way it's so much easier for me as well. And this is closer to the cleaning station. I have things where these little drawers where I have everything, which is my decoration stuff. Here I have all the mylar, the glitters, you know, foil, anything that has to be encapsulated, leaves, glitters, anything. Literally encapsulation glitter. Then I have my chromes, my the stuff needed for chrome application, which are the little brushes. Here are chromes, the top coats, the blooming gel, and more top coats for the chrome. And here are the chromes. I pretty much separated them, the chromes and the holographics, the fairy dust, anything to do with that. And then I have more glitters that for encapsulation or anything like that. Then I have stickers, foils, and tattoos. And they're all um, here. I pretty much tried to separate them the other day. But it can get messy sometimes. Then I have more stickers here. These are foils and tattoos. Gonna have stickers. Then the foil glue down there. And then all of these are like extra, you know, um, de not decals, um, studs and all that stuff. Girls. And here are things that I use or will use for videos eventually. And then here are extra stuff as well. Then up here are all my powders that I don't use on a daily basis. That's why I have them over here. It's like my ombre powders, my um, colored powders, my 3D art, some mixed glitters and things like that. So I have them here in the back just because I don't use them daily. So I don't need them up front, you know, try to avoid having too much things in the front. I have a set of my pretty much for that is like my crystal kit. That's the activator, the gels, the glue is in the fridge because it needs to be in the fridge, and then um, more crystals. And then on this one, I have much more glitters and things to encapsulate. And I have my stamping kit, which has my booklet, my stampy, my stamper, my polishes, and my other stamping plates, for nail forms to remove the polish, and things like that. So if you enjoyed watching this little quick video guys, I will definitely do one later of it more in depth. But pretty much you guys saw that it's very simple of what I carry here around my desk. I always like to have a clean workspace just because it, it is less of a hassle to do things. And as I need things, I go to the back and grab them. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything that you guys saw, products or anything like that, definitely give me a um, comment down below. And like I said, it's always nice to have everything well organized because it keeps your life and you know your sessions a lot easier. Like I did in the back where the glitter is boys and things like that. So you won't have to take forever to look for anything. So definitely um, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.